A typical hospital is teeming with health information. Although the typical visitor to a hospital cannot see the information, it is there, stored in computers, laptops, personal digital assistants, clinical applications, billing programs, and patient registration applications. Traveling wirelessly from one room to the next via radio wave frequencies or through electromagnetic currents flowing via copper wires. Information, if it is accurate and accessed in a timely manner, can be the difference between whether a patient lives or dies, remains sick or gets better. As we explore the role health information systems play within a hospital or other healthcare settings, we will find that not all systems are created equal. In many instances, hospitals will have applications that specialize in capturing data for one specific department, say radiology or the laboratory. What is troubling is that many times these applications cannot talk to each other, and special programs or interfaces must be written so that these applications can share information with each other. If information cannot be shared between applications, then what happens is that redundant data about patients is stored multiple times. And if that information is not updated, it could have a negative impact on patient care. Let's take a closer look at how data can be created, stored, and maintained in a small hospital setting. We begin in the waiting area. Here, patients will be given a set of forms which they are asked to fill out. These forms contain questions regarding patient demographics, insurance, past medical history, consent to treatment, and the HIPAA privacy laws. Once these forms have been filled out, the patient can proceed to admissions where their forms are taken by a clerk, who then inputs that information into a patient registration system. Once admitted, Patients will either share or be given their own room in the hospital. In these rooms, patient information can be recorded in a paper-based system or in a new electronic medical record system. Again, a typical problem is that the information stored in the patient registration application cannot be shared with the electronic medical record. The information, then, has to be entered a second time by a nurse or other medical personnel into the electronic medical record system. If a patient's conditions worsen, they can be moved to intensive care. The ICU can use its own specialized clinical application, or it can use the same electronic medical record that was used in the patient's room to store information about that patient. One of the interesting features about the ICU is that if a patient is wearing a special device to monitor their heart rate, blood pressure, and temperature, that information can be automatically transferred and stored into the EHR or other application that is being used. This is one of the reasons that wireless devices such as cell phones, laptops, and PDAs of a family member cannot be used in these areas. These devices can compromise the transfer of information from the medical device on the patient to the application storing the data. Notice the physician looking at the x-ray. In some instances, the application used in radiology to store images cannot share information with the application in the ICU, and the x-ray had to be manually delivered to the physician. Wouldn't it be better if the image could be sent to the application being used in the ICU so that the physician could view the x-ray in a timely manner? At the nursing station, nurses can monitor their patient's condition using the electronic medical record and other electronic monitoring systems. They can review patients' medication lists and use a barcode application to administer medications to a patient. The barcode application will prevent the nurse from giving the wrong drug to the patient. Within the radiology department, images from x-ray machines CT scanners, gamma ray, and MRI machines can be stored on local servers within the department or in the data center. When images are stored on local servers, whether they are in the radiology department or the data center, 
it can be difficult to share the images with other departments. To share images with other applications, many hospitals are moving to a PACS system. PACS stands for Picture Archiving Communication System, and it provides the capability to store images created in the radiology department and share those images with other applications in the hospital. Most PAC systems rely on a standard called DICOM, Digital Imaging Communication in Medicine, to share those images. The laboratory, like most other departments in a hospital, can use a specialized program to receive orders for laboratory tests, store the results, and then share those results with other healthcare professionals. One of the keys to any laboratory application is whether it makes use of the LOINC logical observation identifiers, names and codes standard, which is a standard used to transmit laboratory information from one application to another. If the laboratory information system is not using LOINC, then chances are the data stored locally in the laboratory cannot be shared with other applications, namely the electronic medical record. The only alternative is to hand key this information into the EHR, which wastes a lot of time and could create a transcription error that could jeopardize the patient's health. Finally, the hospital pharmacy can use several types of systems from filling orders to using robots to dispense medications. As with most applications in the hospital, if the pharmacy system cannot talk to other applications in the hospital, it is not helping the hospital be more productive and working towards the elimination of medical errors. The data center in a technologically advanced hospital stores and maintains all the information generated by the organization. As you can see, the data center consists of a collection of rack-mounted servers that save space and are easy for information technology personnel to service and maintain. In some scenarios, many of the applications running in the hospital are stored on these servers. This is what the industry calls client-server technology. The applications run from a server in the data center and healthcare professionals throughout the organization access the programs through a computing device in their office or one that they can carry on their person. This technology makes the application, such as the electronic medical record, available to multiple departments as well as healthcare professionals who log into the hospital network from their homes or private offices. The data center also maintains devices such as hubs, switches, and routers, which allow the hardware and software running in the organization to communicate with each other. The data center, with the help of an internet service provider, will maintain a connection to the internet so the hospital can send and receive data to and from the information superhighway. Examples of this type of communication include claims data that can be sent to health insurance companies and Medicare and Medicaid. One important idea that managers within a healthcare organization must concern themselves with is the backup and storage of the hospital's vital health information. It is not only important for the organization to store health information in one central location, but it is equally important to back that information up on an hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance schedule. Information can be backed up on a CD-ROM, tape, or transferred to an off-site location using the Internet. The importance of backing up vital health information was illustrated during Hurricane Katrina. In the city of New Orleans, many hospitals lost their health information during the storm because they did not have an adequate backup system in place. Finally, the data center must contain an alternate power supply system in case the organization loses electrical power. In many instances, the organization will have backup generators that will keep the data center as well as other key departments up and running during a powder outage.